building 10 nuclear plants in under 10 years? It's in the news, and we're going to talk about it in all under three minutes. So let's get at it. Just a bit outside. All right. Nuclear energy is back in the news after a conference at Carnegie Mellon University, an AI and energy conference that was held where the interim CEO of Westinghouse Energy, Dan Sumner, stated that Westinghouse could build 10 nuclear reactors in 10 years starting in 2030. And as I take it, that would mean that we wouldn't have 10 nuclear reactors until 2040. And since we really haven't built any in 30 years, other than two projects we're going to talk about, that could be significant. And the reason that I say that this is probably not going to happen is because past performance is the greatest predictor of future performance, and Westinghouse has the issue in that. You see, in 2008, two projects started this similar times, uh, one in Jenkins, uh, South Carolina, the other one at the Vodal uh, nuclear plants in Georgia. They're both starting with two AP1000 Westinghouse um, nuclear plants, and they both put shovels in the ground similar times. Uh, they started in, in about 2008, but put shovels in the ground anywhere between 2012 and 2013, but hit delays, and they hit expensive overruns because Georgia was originally going to be paying um, $14 billion, and South Carolina was $9.8 billion for their reactors. And in 2017, because of the overruns and the expense in it, Westinghouse uh, went into bankruptcy. They came back out in 2018 with uh, an, an exceedingly expensive overrun cost and saying, we can finish these two in Georgia. It's going to cost about $30 billion and it's going to take us seven years. South Carolina, they gave a, an estimate of $29.4 billion. And uh, about the same time, South Carolina bit the bullet and said, we're not going to finish it. Uh, and they abandoned that project. Georgia said, yeah, we got to finish it. So they went in to finish it. And, well, it took a little bit. Their overrun took them to just over $30 billion, and they actually were able to finish uh, reactors three and four in 2023 and 2024. Gosh, I almost, almost forgot that one. But they're up and running. So... Past history says that Westinghouse has not been a good, a reliable source for building nuclear reactors on a timely basis or even on a budget basis. So for them to build 10 reactors in 10 years, I call BS. Now, I know this is a little bit longer, but if you like tech content in under three minutes, follow me and I'll bring you more.